I must begin by recognizing the plight of those leaving Venezuela to find sanctuary and a better life in neighboring countries. However, although this is the purpose of the resolution, we're deeply disappointed that this resolution has been hijacked by an entirely political project and has become a, a generalized attack on the Venezuelan government rather than being about refugees. I have to note that if the members of this House genuinely cared about the situation for refugees, then they would call upon the European Union to play a more active role in welcoming them with dignity wherever within our territory they seek sanctuary. And yet we know that 99% of the more than 10,000 applications for refugee status in Spain have been refused and that boat people arriving in the Netherlands islands of Aruba, Bonaire and Curaçao are turned away. In the past, when external forces have attempted to overthrow and undermine legitimate governments, rather than creating more stability, as their proponents claim, it always leads to tension, violence and even civil war. I'm not here to defend Maduro's government, and as Greens we deplore any human rights violations within a country, on all sides, and, but the incessant interference from the right-wing alliance is not going to facilitate peace. I'm convinced that only a peaceful, constructive dialogue with a genuine democratic process will solve Venezuela's current situation and that this must lie in the hands of the Venezuelan people.